Hello guys, um, today's the day, it's been 11 months since I turned it all around, I haven't had sugar or flour or binged in the last 11 months, save uh, one time on Thanksgiving when I was having some ham that I thought was okay and then someone came over and told me that was cooked in brown sugar. I didn't taste anything, didn't affect me, stopped eating it after that, but technically I guess I have had sugar, but... Uh, it's okay. Um, so, uh, at the beginning of this month, on, on December 1st, I decided that I want to to get a running start into 2018. Uh, I look back on 2017, and it will forever be the year that I changed my life uh, completely. Um, so... Uh, I am around 303 pounds now. I started on January 3rd at 406 pounds. Um, so I've made some progress. <laughs> and uh, anybody from the old school will remember that I kind of had this big thing uh, to get under 300 pounds before New Year's Eve. I think it was like 2009. So it's been a while. Um, and... I couldn't help but see the parallels, and uh, you know, it, it kind of gave me the idea to try something new because throughout my life, and even when I lost uh, 250 pounds in the past, I did it not really eating healthy consistently. I would always have cheat days, which were actually binge days, and the things I were, was eating, they weren't always the best. You know, I just cut down the calories, but I kind of was still eating junk. Well, since I got on this plan, um, I've eaten a lot healthier uh, fruits and vegetables. Uh, you know, I've never, ever, ever ate those before at all. Um, you know, every once in a blue moon. But now it's part of my routine. It's part of my you know daily meals. <clears throat> I eat uh, fruit and vegetables several times a day, every day. Uh, as, as well as, you know, measuring my protein, having a very small amount of carbs, uh, and then the, the vegetables, lots of vegetables and fruit. Um, so, I realized that any exercise that I put together in the same way that I put together my eating is going to be the best that I've ever done in my life. So, I want this month uh, to go into 2018, I want to establish those difficult habits of exercising regularly and getting you know past the you know the struggle of it all before it's a habit of having to make yourself do it and force yourself and wanting to stop and you know give an end to that desire too often to where it kind of just vanishes um, so I, I decided that I'm going to exercise every single day this month all the way through until uh, the new year for 30 minutes each day and I can tell you that this is day three and I've, I've done three and uh, I'm in pain <laughs> I'm in a lot of pain I'm in bad shape and uh, you know I'm sore everywhere I did the punching bag on day one and my whole upper body my, my upper back just killing me and then yesterday I, I walked for 30 minutes and ended up doing a, a mile and a half and my legs and my lower back and it's just today I, I went back to the punching bag because I have blisters on my feet from some ill-fitting socks which is a, a rookie move um, but one I, I've quickly learned from but it's a little too late for some of the, some of the blisters um, anyway so uh, I, I finally got a new computer and I can edit again um, I can watch YouTube videos again on my uh, grandma's old laptop which I was using I couldn't even play a video it just uh, a lot of it was some of the audio it would play but the it would just stop and freeze for about five minutes at a time um, so I, I'm back on YouTube and I, I plan on being very regularly posting once a week every Friday uh, and I have been filming these last three days I'm gonna continue I'm gonna film every single day of this month on this challenge as I race into 2018 hopefully uh, get under 300 pounds but even if I don't um, because my weight loss has slowed drastically 
uh, and hopefully the exercise is going to help that. But, uh, you know, it, it's not all about the number. It's not even about the number. I think it would just be a cool thing um, to do just because, you know, it's such a big deal before. It's not that big of a deal to me this time, though, um, because, you know, I know that I'm doing what I should be doing, and there's no questions, and I don't need the scale to prove it. But uh, that is my goal for this month, and I'm not going to touch the scale until... New Year's Eve, and I'll weigh on New Year's Eve, and, and we'll see where we're at. Um, and then after that, I'm going to stay away from it for as long as possible, <laughs> because it, it, it can cause me a, a lot of grief. And so far, it hasn't harmed my progress, but in the past, it has. Um, so I'm, I'm still, you know, being careful. Uh, so, look for, for my first video this Friday. Um, and, you know, it, it's uh, a chance to end this year in the 200s, uh, a year that I started in the 400s, uh, and in, in a year that I started in a place that was worse than any place I'd ever been mentally and physically. Uh, so, I'm hoping to have my best month of my entire life this month, and it's hard, but uh, you know I'm gonna stick. I'm gonna stick with it. I've, I've made up my mind. I've made the decision, and I'm going to do it just like I do, you know, my meal plans. It's just something that I have to do, whether I feel like it or not and today was definitely a not but I, I did it anyway um, and you know on top of that exercise is going to improve my mood it's going to help with depression uh, it's really the only way forward uh, you know I got a lot more to go next year so it's time to to whip this butt in shape and uh, get on board because I've, I've kind of sailed this first uh, year really focusing on the food part of it and kind of dabbling in the exercise but not too much uh all right guys so um i will see you soon thank you all for watching thanks for supporting and uh i'm looking forward to this month i'm looking forward to uh ending this year um the best that i can and uh without doubt no matter what happens this year has been uh the best year of my life as far as me doing something for myself uh and taking back my life from binge eating disorder which had owned it up until this point uh so good things to come uh, i'm looking forward to it and until next time guys knuckle love and i will talk to you soon